income, how to make money while you sleep, the, the key here is really about licensing. And here's a, a true story. Um, again, there's a link to this case study on my website. This, um, excuse me, this is a, a young man I met in Brazil called Guillermo Marconi. He's a commercial illustrator. He's a one-man band. He works from his back bedroom and he does digital illustrations uh, for commercial purposes. And he does illustrations. You might be able to make out one of them there, which is for Nike, but he also does illustrations of this type and this style for Vodafone and Coca-Cola. And they love his work and they pay him loads of money, but he doesn't sell his work to them. He licenses it. So Nike can use that image maybe on their packaging for a fee for a particular period of time, uh, but only on their packaging because he gives them a license to do that with his intellectual property. He doesn't sell it outright. It's still his work, his copyright, but he permits them to use it through a licensing agreement for particular purposes. And if they say, well, we love it on our packaging and we'd love, we've got this, this new uh, store in New York, we want to put it to decorate our store on this huge wall. They have to pay him again if he gives them permission for a particular period of time. Um, and so they pay him again and again. And, you know, he does that then for other companies as well. And the article I wrote about him is called Don't Sell It, Rent It, because that's the way he described it. He rents his work to, uh, to his clients. And technically that's called licensing and we can do that. And there's lots of money to be made. But once you, as perhaps as a photographer or a, an artist with prints, you can make money while you sleep because the work you've produced, which is protected by intellectual property rights has value in itself and the derivative products from that, the, the, um, yeah, the, the different physical expressions of that or uses of that can generate money for you from your, you know, your original work. And in that sense, you can make money while you sleep. And I don't make a great deal of money while I sleep, but I do make some from the royalties on my book. I wrote a book some years ago, the book sells and I get royalties. And when it's translated, and I'm proud to say it's been translated and published in 14 countries, I get, I have to give them permission, um, but then I get a licensing fee for them, you know, for permission to, for them to translate and publish my book in a different language. So it's money for nothing in a way. I've already written the book. It's extra money or money while I sleep. And so we, if we think about derivative products, you know, this is the print from the original. This is about uh, a, be, a film being made out of a, a piece of theater. We can, we can start to, think about how we can license the core work to be produced in different ways. Um, we give permission, so we're in control of how it's done, and we get a cut of the money depending on how we negotiate. But we don't have to sell outright, and it's your choice. My job is simply to, to empower you. And if you said to me, David, I don't want to license it, I want to sell it, that's entirely up to you. But it breaks my heart when I speak to an artist and after 20 years, I say, what do you do about licensing? And they say, what's licensing? Nobody ever told me about that. I've always sold outright what I've produced. I didn't even know there was an option. And my heart sinks. So I just want to empower you by you being aware of these, these options.